illegal fireworks that have entertained, disturbed, and injured Southern California residents heading for the weekend of July 4, according to investigators, are increasingly arriving in the state by smuggling. Fireworks that explode, spin along the ground, and fireballs in the air are often legally purchased in other states before sneaking into the banned California. They are hidden in cars, trucked by rental car, and sometimes driven in caravans escorted by members of armed gangsters. Other such fireworks enter from Mexico and China through the ports of Long Beach and are seemingly out of state for legal sale, but somehow reach their intended destination. It is not. Fireworks are then sold online, in parking lots and warehouses at double or triple the cost. The proceeds will then be used for firearms, said Brian Gouge, an arson and bomb investigator at the state fire marshal office. Thursday, July 1st, investigators still a large cache of illegal fireworks and explosives in a home in southern Los Angeles. Seventeen people were injured in the big explosion. Wednesday night when police tried to safely explode an improvisational device. But in general, Gouge said, most of what we see seems to be related to organized crime. These items are not available in California. It creates a black market. What we see as a trend is gangsters. Is doing fundraising activities. These types of fireworks are notorious for being uncontrollable once ignited, but are illegal everywhere in California, but so-called safe and healthy fireworks approved by the state fire department can only ignite in a limited area. It's legal. The sale of illegal fireworks by gangsters seems to be another evolution of criminal activity. This is similar to the decline in bank robbery in the late 2000s when tech-savvy criminals began putting fake debit card readers at ATMs to steal personal information. A crime that produces a higher take than a long prison or a bank robber who has less risk of a prison decision.